Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be solving one problem in two languages, first Python and then BQN. And I think comparing these solutions really is going to highlight why I love BQN and array language in general so much. BQN is my favorite language, but without further ado, we're gonna be solving problem two from the most recent weekly leak code contest. I believe the number was 336. The problem is entitled rearrange array to maximize prefix score. The problem states you're given a zero indexed integer array nums. You can rearrange the elements of nums to any order. It then says, let prefix be the array containing the prefix sums of nums after rearranging it. In other words, prefix i is the sum of the elements from 0 to i, etc., etc. The score of nums is the number of positive integers in the array prefix. Return the maximum score you can achieve. And the first example it shows you, we've got some positive and negative numbers ranging from negative 3 to positive 3. And it shows you one permutation that you can do to achieve the maximum score. You then do a plus scan or a prefix sum as they call it in the problem, which gives you this array. And if you count the number of positive integers here, which is the maximal in this case, it is 6. And I was super excited when I read this problem because my immediate thought was if my understanding of this problem is correct, then this is going to be absolutely beautifully solved in BQN. But to ensure that my understanding was correct, because you can't run BQN on leetcode.com, I went first and solved it in Python, which is what we're going to do right now. So let's hop over to our Python slides and take a look at how to solve this in Python. So here is our first example that we looked at on leetcode.com. And our solution is going to be essentially sorting our list of numbers in reversed order, doing a plus scan, and then using at first a list comprehension, but we can change that into a generated expression and sort of summing the number of positives we see. So the first thing we want to do is call our sorted function, which is just going to sort our numbers in increasing order. For this problem, because we want to do a plus scan, which is going to go from left to right, we actually want to reverse this sorted list of numbers so that we have them in reverse sorted order. There's a number of ways you can do this. Some might be more efficient than what I have, but in order for solving this quickly, this works great and is my preferred uh, method. Then we need to do a plus scan. So we need to import our iter tools library to get access to a function called accumulate, which in my opinion is extremely poorly named, but it is our scan function. And by default, it does a plus scan. I'm not actually sure you can customize the binary operation. I think you can, but for our purposes, we're doing a plus scan or a prefix sum. So it's exactly what we want. And now we basically have the optimal positive numbers and we just need to count them. So first we can use a list comprehension for I in our list of numbers. Uh, we just basically turn each of these into a boolean technically i'm showing you ones and zeros here but this actually outputs trues and falses but those will implicitly uh, convert to ones and zeros so once we have this list uh, comprehension we can basically change it into a generator expression by passing it removing the brackets and passing it to sum which is going to give our answer six so this is actually quite nice in python uh, i really like Python, for this reason, got a lot of built-in functions, whether they're in uh, sort of the built-in prelude or the iter tools library. Fantastic. Python's great. However, you know, this, uh, we put this in a function. This is what we end up with. Let's go solve this in BQN, though, using the exact same method and see what we end up with. So let's hop over to BQN pad. So here we are in BQN with the same test case that we saw in Python and in LeetCode on LeetCode.com. First thing we need to do is sort our list of numbers. So this is what we did in Python. Uh, from, you know, smallest to largest. And then if we're going to do what Python did, we could do the uh, reverse glyph here, which gets us what we did in Python. But in BQN, we actually have a reverse sort primitive. So we can switch this to this. And in a single glyph, we can do what we were trying to do in Python with the sort and sort of bracket colon colon negative one. Fantastic. Next thing we need to do is a plus scan or a prefix sum. So we type plus, then our scan glyph. And fantastic, we're halfway there. You have to love BQN. Next thing we need to do is check which of these are positive. We can do that by comparing all of the elements with zero because of rank polymorphism. You can do this in two characters. Fantastic. Last step, we just need to sum up all the ones, AKA the positive numbers in our list, which we do with once again, a plus. And instead of a scan, we are going to do a reduction here. So we have plus reduce, zero less than, plus scan, reverse sort on our argument X here. And we can actually make this point free by deleting our braces and our superstruct X and typing, I believe this is called nothing. And basically what this does is instead of when it sees three functions, AKA what we have here, it basically creates a break so that this evaluates not as a three train, but as a two train, AKA the B combinator, and then sort of restarts that process. So this will turn these two functions into a unary function 
then this will spell a three train and then this will spell sort of a four train, which is going to evaluate the way we need it to. Maybe I'll explain this more in more detail in another video, but here's our solution. Absolutely beautiful plus reduce rank polymorphism with comparing with zero plus scan and a reverse sort. If we hop back to our Python solution and we juxtapose that with our BQN solution, this really starts to highlight why I love BQN so much because semantically, in my opinion, these are identical. However, they're just spelled completely differently. So whenever you hear people talking about, oh my goodness, BQN or APL or J is so hard to read, these are like exactly the same solutions, in my opinion, except all of the unnecessary detail and the verbose spelling that's required for a language like Python or insert any other language isn't required. Some here is a plus reduce. Comparing with zero, we have rank polymorphism, so we can just compare the zero with a rank one vector or array. Uh, plus scan, we don't have to reach for a library and we don't have to reach for a poorly named function like accumulate. And then reverse sort, instead of having to go to sorted, paren, paren, bracket, colon, colon, negative one, it's just a single primitive. Like some people say, BQN is hard to read. I don't know how you could say, like, once you understand what the V means in BQN, it's so much easier than having to read sort, paren, paren, bracket, colon, colon, negative one. Like, it's, I think, objectively requires more storage in your brain to memorize what sorted, colon, colon, negative one means versus a single glyph in BQN. Anyways, absolutely love BQN. And Python, it's still a very beautiful solution. But yeah, wanted to make a video to highlight sort of two very similar solutions, but in completely different languages. Hope you enjoyed this video. There's a link in the description to register for Apple Seeds, which is a half day virtual free conference that's going to be taking place on March 22nd in about a week and a half. So feel free to sign up for that. I'll be there and there might be an opportunity to chat in between talks or after the conference. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something and have a great day.